Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm your host John Hawes and welcome to another episode of Christ Geared. On this cham this episode, I got my words mixed up. On this episode, which is going to a which is a second part of a three-part series, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the two machines that I am using, uh, frankly, just to give you all some entertainment as well as maybe with the hopes of trying to connect with y'all. Uh, if you want to know more about me, my testimony, and uh, how my faith, uh, which this channel is centered around, uh, if you guys want to know more about how that kind of is going to be incorporated and know more about me and how I got to that point, go check out the last episode. If you want to know more about this bike, well, keep, keep, uh, keep watching, stay tuned. If you want to know about my truck, I'm going to go ahead and encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so that way you guys will be notified when I post that video here in a little bit. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead, roll that intro, and I want to start talking. All right, guys, and here we are. This is my 2019 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob S. S because it's got the big boy engine. It's got the 114 cubic inch uh, oil liquid, or not liquid cool. <laughs> it's got the 114 cubic inch air cooled uh, with extra oil cooling. What do they call it? I don't know, V-twin, six degree V-twin, uh, six speed. It's a soft tail, here we go. There's another thing too I'm forgetting. This is the bike. This is the machine that you guys can expect for me to be riding mostly because we do have a few other kind of off-roading type machines that, you know, we might be playing around with. Um, if you guys haven't already seen my, intro, my, my trailer for this video, then you guys are missing. You guys, you guys don't fully understand what's in store here. All right. And it's okay because I don't either. Let me go ahead and walk through the bike and just kind of explain to you all what I've done. So, which isn't much. The first thing I did do was uh, go ahead and switch to LEDs all the way around. Got my switch back turn signals. Uh, I just wanted a brighter light, and even then, these were on my original Harley that I had, which was a uh, also a 20, 2019 Iron 83. Uh, after 4,000 miles and several months, I traded up to this thing because I needed something with power as well as the six speed to be able to cart me out to DBU, where I've managed to put a lot of miles on this bike because it's already for a bike that's a little over a year old. Um, it's already hidden about 15,000 miles and actually that might be an episode here coming up soon of me just simply doing the oil change and then spark plugs and we'll see what else. Now to move my, to move farther back to the bike, actually I want to be going like three inches forward here, but, um, I got this guy too. Crash bar, not really, not really factory, but, uh, it is a genuine Harley Davidson part. I've got that thing on there just, uh, as a way to be able to mount, um, lights to it as well as, you know, Lord forbid, if, you know, I go down, the bike ain't totaled. To continue moving back, what I have done on this thing was uh, docking hardware for a luggage rack. You're going to see some pictures, if you haven't already, on my Instagram page of some of that stuff. Um, but also, just because sound is always good, I went ahead and I put some Reinhardt Racing slip-ons on this thing. Um, I just, I got tired of, <laughs> right off the bat, I hated how quiet this bike was. So I went ahead, got these guys, which opened up the sound a little bit. Now I still have the factory headers. Uh, partially to honor under the warranty because I'm too broke. I don't want to say broke. Well, yeah, I am kind of broke, but <laughs> um, I'm too poor to be able to afford what would happen if I ended up doing something that messed up the warranty. So I'm going to go ahead and let the warranty run out and then we'll start seeing go fast parts perhaps on this guy. Um, for now though, most of my efforts honestly will be put towards my F250, which I think I've already explained is gonna be in the next episode. I might have a little bit more to show and talk about it, but uh, for the most part, this is what I got going for this bike. Now, something that will be coming up very soon is ammo can saddlebags. Um, I got the bike because I loved, absolutely loved the clean look of this thing. I, you know, not really big on fairings and all that stuff. Eventually I might get one, but a subtle one. Um, but for the most part, this bike is, the way it's set up for the most part is what I like from Harley Davidson minus a few tweaks. This is going to be one of them. I wanted something that was black that would go with the flow of this bike and that would give me a little bit of a storage space. That's where these guys come into play here or just any little stuff I carry. Um, like camera gear. Um, 
So aside from little projects in the near future, you guys eventually way out, you guys can expect some um, upgrading performance with this thing. Uh, but what you guys can also expect, if I haven't already said, is a uh, just simply recordings of rides that I go on with, with some of my buddies. I got I got a couple buddies who ride motorcycles. It naturally happens. Those who ride motorcycles, you understand the brotherhood that's just like, oh, you ride a bike? Bro, I ride a bike. And you guys become best friends. So I know a handful of buddies that have uh, varying models of motorcycles. I do have a buddy that most, I the guy I'm, I go on the most rides with, um, he does have a 2009 Wide Glide. In fact, I've already got a video that's pretty well edited that will be posted here sometime. Um, as far as my other buddies, I got a buddy with a Ducati. Um, I've been on a ride once with him. Don't go on too many rides, but you guys can, might be able to see that. Also, I do have a buddy with a Yamaha MT-07 or FT-07. I don't know. You guys can expect some rides with him. And then if my brother ever decides to hop in on this, my not my littlest brother, but my, I'm the oldest. Anyways, the, the next one down. He's got a 2015 Harley Davidson V-Rod muscle. Um, he likes to go for rides on that thing. If he's down to get in on this, you guys can expect to see that too. Um, but for the most part, just going, seeing the Texas countryside and having some good, wholesome fun. Uh, with all that being said, if you guys want to see stuff, go ahead, please give me ideas. I'm open for it because to be honest, I still don't fully know where I'm going with this and I'm going to need y'all's help to be honest. Um, Remember though, this is a this is supposed to be a kind of a Christian channel where I'm not going to try to be shoving, hey God, all in your face, because it is y'all's choice. But what I do love to do is just present you guys the information, hopefully in a way that might kind of make you consider, make you think. Um, and again, just kind of all in the end, just give glory to him up there. Anyways, um, that's all I'm going to say about that, uh, for the most part. If I haven't mentioned already, please subscribe, hit that bell icon so that way you guys can uh, once again see me posting more videos of say whether it be this, whether it be my truck or just you know any little um, bits of fun that I have, any little projects I got on the side just because I love to keep myself busy. And again, just some something to, to, to see. Also, it helped me out um, so that way I can have money to provide stuff for you guys. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off once again. My name is John Hawes. I am your host. This is Christ Geared. Remember to stand strong in the faith, be firm, and do everything out of love. God bless you all. Forgot about that.